Look, on the education freedom accounts, you have low and middle income families that have never been given any option in terms of, of where, where or how they want to educate their children. We have some of the best public schools in the country. I know. I went to public schools here, Tom. I, I lived through the public schools. They're phenomenal. The teachers are phenomenal. But at the end of the day, there's one or two percent of kids where the four traditional walls don't work. So we're sending that money back to you because it's your money as a parent. These parents have thousands of them. We thought it was going to be hundreds. Tom's right. It's overprescribed by 10 or 15 million dollars. Luckily, we have 50 million dollars in the education trust fund. So it's not taking money away from anything it's providing an opportunity to families that have never been given an option before lower income families inner city families that's who's taking advantage of this it's awesome and if there's an opportunity to expand that to allow more families that same choice right why should only affluent families have the opportunity to send their kids to private schools right it's about having giving that equity that equal opportunity to every family we started it it's been phenomenally successful beyond our wildest dreams